All right, you guys, welcome and welcome back. We are going to get into this channel message. If you watched the last reading with the thumbnail, the crown, then you'll know that there was a second part to this channel message and something is going on in sequential order. So if you did not watch the crown reading, go watch that one first. It was posted right before this one. If you go to the video tab of the channel, then you will see that reading. Click on the thumbnail that says the crown. Now, this channeled message is Saturn. So there's definitely something associated with Saturn. And it's about you being sworn in. Okay. You've been sworn in and you're taking an oath or you've taken an oath. Okay. I don't know if this is prior to you incarnating on this particular plane of existence or if it's something that's physically, literally happening right now in your life. But you will understand what I'm saying if you go watch the crown video. But you're taking your oath. You've been sworn in. This could be about a presidency. I don't know. Or some type of leadership position. Take it how it resonates. But we definitely talked about authenticity and morality in that last reading. And I shuffled the deck. Spirit basically told me to use the same cards. I'm filming them back to back. You're just seeing them on two different days. But they told me to use the same sequence of decks. So we're starting with this one. And when I shuffled it, it says authenticity card number 10. Oop, strength underneath that. And it says who I truly am is indeed. Wait, who I, tr bitch, who I truly am is good indeed. I am authentic in thought, word, and deed. Yeah. So this is a cycle that is basically ending and beginning there are no endings there are no beginnings there's just flow pretty much i mean once something ends it signifies that something new is going to begin and i feel like that's what this is for you guys and it's because of your authenticity and your power your courage your strength and your ethics and morals so you are now being crowned into this position you are being sworn in okay hold on y'all All right, so we continue to have these interruptions. Please do not mind the interruption, but there is going to be one. So just get ready. Okay, that could be very symbolic. Anytime I do a reading as a reader, okay, nothing is a coincidence. So whenever there's an interruption in the reading, there's usually some type of disturbance or disruption or interruption that could be happening in association with whatever messages or situations that we're talking about. So you need to be prepared for a disruption or an interruption. If you are having some type of ceremony, literally being sworn in or being given a position or going through training or whatever, I feel like there's going to be a lot of interruptions. Like people are tr going to try to like distract you or disrupt your focus but the key is for you to stay focused the key is for you to remain centered and have tunnel vision on this goal that you want to achieve or on the task at hand okay um but you're being sworn in and you're going to have to take an oath or you've taken an oath already your resourcefulness is being tested that's why the walls may feel like they're closing in you're being made to remember your foundational blueprint that guarantees your survival. DNA activation could be taking place. Everything that you've evolved from must be revisited in order to ensure your capability to evolve further. Okay. No stone must go unturned. All will be seen so that all can be shown. X-ray vision. Some of you guys, X-ray vision could be significant. Boom. All right. Hold on, you guys. Give me a minute. Be sure to like the video. Okay.
All right, you guys. <sighs> My bad. So let's see. Um, yeah. So I feel like this could have to do with Mercury retrograde as well when it comes to your when it comes to the fact that you're being made to remember your foundational blueprint that guarantees your survival, right? So in the crown reading, we had the nine of coins fall out in reverse. And basically, I feel like somebody was trying to perpetrate, right? And act like they have the skills that you were either born with or bred with to do something that they were never meant to do. So now I feel like the reason why you could be experiencing some disruption or some claustrophobia, so to speak, energetically is because they want you to go back down to the bare bones of a situation they want you to remember where you came from they want you to remember the foundational skills that you were basically imprinted with or given at the beginning of your life or maybe at the beginning of your soul's life to understand how to overcome these op obstacles being able to do this being able to overcome this is going to activate something within your dna that could give you a new gift a new talent a new skill a new ability and that could be x-ray vision, being able to see through situations towards the solution where it's like the actual density of a situation may not be as thick, right? You may be able to see through people literally to see what's actually going on inside of them or, you know, energetically what spirits they could have on them or around them. Some of you guys may also be able to have the ability to be invisible as well. Okay, so no stone must go unturned. Everything that you've evolved from must be revisited in order to ensure your capability to evolve further. So this is definitely something really big and really powerful. So it's like, you know, whatever the solution is that you can find in a situation or whatever the problem is that you're facing, you're going to have the ability or you're going to be challenged right now to really get down and dirty with it. You you got to look under every stone. You can't let anything go undone. Take care of things when they arise so that you can resolve situations before they become a problem, okay? Because all will be seen so that all can be shown. Like you have to see everything so that everything can be put out in the forefront that's the best way that i can explain it as far as the channel message you guys but we're gonna get into it like i said y'all be sure to like and subscribe so you can continue to catch this vibe if you want to participate in our reading giveaway there's only a few more days left y'all okay we are going to be doing a live drawing to see who won we're giving away eight free readings so if you want to participate just click the link below donate to the gofundme you guys and you will be entered to win. The more you donate, the more chances you have to win. Also, if you just want to book a reading, be sure to click the link in the description box. There is one option available for us at this time. There may be more in the future, but that is all I've been advised to offer at this time. So thank you so much for all of your support. Be sure to get in the comments and let me know if this reading is resonating and share it with someone who you may think need to hear it. Okay? I appreciate you guys. Let's see for the collective spirit when it comes to the second half of the channel message, Saturn. You've been sworn in and oaths. What is the message for the collective? When it comes to this channel message, what is it that you want them to know? Healing. Candle flame, burn this hour. Bring to me your healing power. So something is happening within the hour. Okay, so if it's 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, whatever time it is when you're watching this, something is happening within the hour or in one hour. 29, that's an 11. So maybe it's 11, 29, I don't know. 11, 30. So by 12, 30, something is going to happen. All right. You may have a feeling of healing that comes over you within the hour when it comes to a situation. So if there's anything that you may be feeling challenged with or feeling bad about, there's going to be a feeling of healing that washes over you within the hour. All right. You could be walking through a portal as well. You may be feeling more stable and secure as well. Okay. At the bottom, we have 38 divine guidance whispers from the beings who shine. Let their message be clear and kind. Yeah. 38. That's an 11-2. Ooh. 
eleven eleven. You could be seeing a lot of eleven elevens. Your spirit team is trying to communicate with you. They're giving you divine guidance and they want you to trust it. Boom, trust. 31, because they're working with you to help you accomplish a goal or to help you walk through a portal or to help you basically embrace and welcome in this new reality that's coming to you. So they want you to trust them. I am safe. I am secure. In love, I trust. My faith endures. Exactly. And I was talking about you may feel be feeling more safe and secure. All right. All right, y'all. They're trying to listen. They're trying to speak. They're trying to speak. Okay. Let's move on to the next deck, you guys. For the collective spirit when it comes to these messages. Your spirit team is really trying to help you fix the situation. Girdles of Venus. Steer clear of negative influences and Mars challenge. Forgive and let go. Yeah. There could definitely be somebody who's provoking you, trying to get you to respond or react. They're, they may be trying to disrupt your focus or disrupt something that's meant for you to like ruin it. I really feel like there's a ceremony or there's some type of like, <clears throat> I don't know, there's some type of time in your life. Like if you are at a graduate, I'm, I'm seeing a graduation and like someone is someone's name in the graduation is being called, but everybody's talking. They won't be quiet. They won't let the speaker speak. Like if, if you're graduating and, a, and you be, you, you were asked to be a speaker at the graduation, people may not be respecting your time to speak. They may not be respecting your time period or, you know, just the authority that you've been given. And there, it's like, they're trying to disrupt that moment for you. Somebody may be trying to disrupt your moment. And it could make you want to haul off and slap somebody. But spirit is telling you that you should not do that. And there could be people around you who are trying to get you to respond or react to something. Like, oh, if I was you, I would slap the shit out of that motherfucker. No, you might not need to listen to them. Yep, because the cards just flipped out. Because you're being guided not to do that. Yeah, your feelings are valid like we talked about. But it's like you're being guided not to allow that situation to affect you. Think about where you're going. Think about the direction that you're moving in. Because whatever somebody's doing in a petty way to try to steal your moment or take a moment from you is because you're getting something that they're not getting. So it's like keep your eye on the prize in the situation. Okay. What is the message? What else for the collective? Cave line, take some time for yourself. Yeah, some of you may need to take a breather, okay? Because there is a lot going on. I feel like the energy is very potent. And you may need to take several breaks. That's okay. It doesn't mean that you're stopping. It just means that you're taking time to refresh yourself after you accomplish each goal. Okay, headline, think about your direction again. It's necessary for you to have these like breaks between what it is that you're doing. I don't know what you're doing, but whatever this oath is that you're being sworn into or this oath that you're taking, this position you're being sworn into is going to require you to be very aligned with your thoughts and your actions and your emotions. Your thoughts, your actions, and your emotions are going to be connected. And whatever you think feel and do is going to affect the direction of where this goes jupiter challenge set some goals and aim high right so whatever goals that you have you should aim high you should try to achieve the most crazy almost impossible sounding things that you can achieve because they're not actually impossible it's like your reward and your spirit team is telling you that they're guiding you towards basically getting anything that you feel like is impossible and making it possible in your life. They want to help you to do that. But they want you to understand what it's going to take in order to get there, okay? And it, it, whatever this is, whatever responsibility that you're uh, taking on, there's a lot of pressure for sure. There's definitely a lot of pressure, but if you go back to the fundamental ways that you've been able to solve and resolve situations, you'll know exactly what you need to do. It's like, there's nothing else that I feel like you need to learn. They're just going to tell you. It's like, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like when you have the internet 
And there's so much information on the internet. Like everything is on the internet now. And there's like an endless reservoir of information. But you don't necessarily know like what to look for or how to find things. That's what your spirit team is doing in this situation for you. Oop, Sha just popped out when I said that. Timid, hesitant, reserved. So you could be very shy in a situation where now you're going to be put on the forefront or you're going to be put in a very visible position. Um, but yeah, just like the internet is kind of like vast, this situation could be very vast or what you're dealing with and faced with on a daily basis or an hourly basis could be a vast array of different issues that are testing your foundational skills. But your your spirit team is going to work through your intuition to basically be like Google to find the information that you need at any given time. We have depressed, empty, numb, withdrawn. And then we have love, romantic, intimate, passionate, committed. Mm, you may be feeling shy when it comes to like romantic partnerships. You may you may not be feeling very happy about your romantic partnerships. You may not really want to be noticed by people. But your light is shining into a dark room. You may be you may be very shy, but you could have the ability to like bring people out of depression to help people find love, okay? What else for the collective when it comes to these messages? Yeah. So creative, cre creative, creativity, creative came out in the last reading. Confused says distorted, bewildered, puzzled, shy and confused. Interesting. And then we have creative, imaginative, inventive, expressive. You may be a little bit shy about, you know, being seen. You also may be very shy about, um, exhibiting your creativity or what you've created for the world. You may be shy about sharing it with people because you've been disappointed in the past. You've been hurt in the past, possibly in your childhood. Respectful, differential, courteous, admiring, and comforted, reassured, consoled, nourished. Yeah. So people are going to respect what it is that you create but it's like you don't necessarily know that to be true or you may not believe that yet. But once you put this um, creation out into the world, you're going to find that people really respect you. They may not agree with you. They may not believe the same things that you believe, but they respect you in a situation. What else for the collective? Ooh, Ooh disrespectful. Mm. Yeah, I just feel like this is you not being sure if you're going to be respected, admired, uh, treated properly, powerless, paralyzed, ineffective, weak. Yeah, I get it. Worried, concerned, troubled, uneasy. So if anybody is... Listen, if anybody's disrespecting, I feel like you're going to get a good response to something, period, point blank. However, if there are people who are disrespectful or they don't want to be cordial with you, they're not going to have any power. Their power is going to be taken away because there's going to be too much going on in, in their life to where they won't even have the time or the energy to be disrespectful towards you or to try to create any problems for you. That's what you need to know. Because I feel like that's what's confusing you when it comes to releasing this project or finally taking the leap of faith to do something that you've been creating or you're creatively passionate about. I feel like someone is going to be sick and powerless if they try to come at you with any type of negativity some of you are worried that you don't have the power to combat people who may come at you in a negative way, but your spirit team is telling you that they got your back on that. And they're going to tell you how to navigate the situation. So you should aim high for your goals. You shouldn't take the bare minimum at this time. I 
I feel like some type of shyness left you feeling confused about where to go next. But there is some type of stress or anxiety, worry, something that's plaguing you that's going to be healed very soon. Okay? Let me get a screenshot, y'all. Hmm? Trying to get the light. Catch the light. Somebody's going to have to catch the light. They're going to have to catch your light. They're going to have to catch up with you. What's understood don't need to be explained. You could be, okay, you could be Aquarius somewhere in your chart. You could have it. Let's see. So what is this message for the collective? And I mean, I get why you may feel powerless or worried about showcasing whatever your gifts are. And it's probably because when you were a child, you were around a lot of depressed people, a lot of dark spirited people, people who pop possibly had demons or entities or energies on them that were very negative. And your light shined brightly even from that time to where you were scared of coming out. Some of you may be LGBTQ+, but just in general, you were scared of coming out of your cave because you were afraid that they, that they were going to continue to ridicule you. And it... And it, it frazzled your mind like it, it it got some wires crossed when it comes to like how you feel about your creativity because someone was very disrespectful towards you or they did not honor who it is that you really are. But now it's like your spirit team is like, you don't have to be afraid of that anymore, okay? What is it for the collective? What are the messages? Ooh, sun reverse. So someone is definitely sick. I'm not a doctor, lawyer, or psychologist, but if you are feeling sick, if you are feeling under the weather, that's why spirit is saying, take some time. What does it say? Take some time for yourself because you may need some rest. You may not be feeling a hundred percent. You may be feeling down and out a little bit, exhausted, drained, or depressed. Literally. It's like unhappiness in a situation. This could also be like, confusion not able to see clearly or also possibly being too loud too defensive too boisterous because you're basically operating possibly from a very unhealed place whatever that is if you've experienced it recently or if it's what you're going through now you're healing from it or you will be healed from it if this is what you know about yourself that you're realizing was the issue and you've come out of it this is a confirmation that you're making the right decisions and you're moving on the right path okay but someone is very unhappy someone is very depressed someone is in a very dark place could be a leo could be an aquarius there's a shadow on somebody like there's a shadow person on somebody and that it's not a very positive energy. It's a very draining energy, okay? Page of Cups. This could be your child, your son, or your daughter. Be mindful of, like, stubbing your toe or bumping into things because it's dark. That could be what's happening. Like, you could be trying to figure out how to get out of a situation, but it's dark. There's not really a lot of light. You can't really see. Somebody's fumbling around in the dark. And they just keep stubbing their toe or bumping their head or something like that. Someone is very clumsy. Or they just don't pay attention. I feel like there's someone around you who's very depressed, but you're very happy and positive. And that's something that has been like a theme in your life for a long time since you were a child. And you may even be seeing it like happen with your own children where their light is shining really bright brightly. But they have people around them who are trying to like brainwash them and confuse them into believing some negative shit. You could be depressed about that. What's the sun card in reverse? What's the sun in reverse? Five of swords. Yeah, somebody is petty, vengeful, vindictive, controlling. And it's because they're depressed. It's because their eyes are, their, their vision is cloud. Somebody's got an entity on them, y'all. 
Somebody got an entity on them and it's a dark entity. I'm telling y'all right now. And it's a lurking energy. So this person may spy on your social media. They may watch you. They may try to like, I don't know, whatever. Keep tabs on you or whatever. Yeah, seven of swords. You see what I'm saying? Seven of swords, five of swords, queen of cups. It's because they're trying to steal your soul. They're trying to steal your essence from you. Or they're trying to control you so they, they can control your essence. This person may be trying to have you in a depressive state. I literally feel like you could be a, an Aquarius, a Leo, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay. What's the sun reversed? This person is really unhappy. Yeah, three of wands reversed. It's like they don't have any goals. They, they don't have any direction in their life. They're not striving for anything. They don't want to do better. They just want to wallow. Yeah, the lovers. Beauty and the Beast energy. Page of Wands. I feel like something is happening to you or you being brought together with something that you're meant to be brought together with. Whether it's a person, a career path, success, whatever this is, this oath that you're taking, whatever you're, you're being sworn into, whatever this crown is that you're receiving, this is a part of your path. Like it's, it's what was meant for you. It's your destiny that someone didn't expect to happen because they thought that depressing you or attacking you or trying to stop you was actually going to work and it didn't work because you still are who you are. So spirit is saying that you're healing from this situation, okay? Something is going to be balanced out from this situation. There's a celebration that I feel like you're having. You've been making good choices. And somebody expected something negative to happen, but something positive is happening instead. And this cycle... This cycle is going to be broken. Even if you feel like your children are being affected by this person or it, maybe they're being bullied at school, whatever this is, their mind is being poisoned in some way. There's going to be an unexpected outcome because someone just knows that it's like someone in a negative place just knows that they're going to succeed, but they're not. And the outcome is going to be unexpected. Okay. Okay. So you may even expect for something to end badly because of the negativity that a person has been feeding into something for so long. But the total opposite of what you think is going to happen is what's going to happen. That's why your spirit team is saying set some goals and aim high because like literally the impossible or what you believe to be impossible is actually going to be made possible. Okay. It's going to happen. What else for the collective when it comes to these messages? Okay, and here's the nine of coins in the upright because it's meant for you. You were born for this. I woke up like this. I woke up like this. Yeah, five of wands in the judgment. Yeah, some type of conflict or competition. Enemies are being revealed to you. But I don't know what I don't. Somebody is facing judgment as well. Somebody's having to face judgment for whatever conflict that they caused. I feel like the situation is being illuminated so that you can understand what you need to see and pay attention. Okay. You're being trained by spirit, by God, by source. You're being trained so that you can take up this position. It's, it's like somebody's just been trying to fight you for what's already been decided. It's already been, it's already been written. It's already been decided. There's nothing that anyone can do to stop whatever this is. Okay. What's the nine of coins? Hangman. Pisces energy. Eight of swords. Three of swords. Yeah, because of what someone was doing towards you to try to keep you stuck or control you, you just felt like 
you would never escape. You just felt like you had to sacrifice yourself. There's another 11, eight plus three, 38 again. You could be 38 years old, 29 years old, 31 years old. These could be birthdays or ages that are that are coming up in the near future for you. I feel like you were worried about something and you were kind of like self-sabotaging because of it. See that, you see that lurking monitoring ass spirit. I feel like you're an angelic being. You may have tried to clip your own wings. You may have tried to harm yourself. Because you just felt like you would never escape a situation. So you may have tried to take yourself out. But I feel like you didn't do it. I feel like you're looking at that time of your life where you were very depressed and down from a different perspective. And you're starting to realize lightning strike. Boom. You're starting to realize what it was for, why it happened, like all that type of stuff. You're realizing it. What's the nine of coins? Yeah, Ace of Swords, cutting the knots, breaking through the confusion, breaking through the illusions. I also feel like you see the truth. You're looking at something from a different perspective and you're understanding it was a learning experience and you're realizing the truth of why it happened because you had to be prepared for this position. You had to be prepared to take this throne. You had to be prepared to sit on the throne. You had to go through training in order to have the skills that you needed to be able to do what it is that you were meant to do all along. Okay. Yeah. Empress energy. There's an abundance of clarity. There's a lot of clarity blooming flowers could be blooming in your mind or you may have flowers like in your kitchen or in your dining room. They're blooming. You may need to change the water. Or cut the ends. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of clarity that you had to, to figure out about yourself. Because I feel like this was a pivotal moment. Like I said, you're being made to remember your foundational blueprint that guarantees your survival. So this had to happen in order for your DNA to be activated. Nine of coins. Okay, what else? Keep going, spirit. What else you got? Ooh, four ones. So you're about to accomplish a goal. You haven't yet accomplished it yet, but you're taking action so you can get what it is that you want. I feel like any type of situation that was disrupted was like divine intervention, divine guidance. It was kind of in the reverse. What is this? Four of Wands? Three of Coins? Seven of Wands? The Hierophant, yeah. You have an unbelievable amount of strength. Strength is under divine guidance. Yeah, you had a good teacher. This could be your mother, this could be your father, this could be, this is a relationship that is no longer together, someone who's no longer in your life, could be passed on, but this is someone who instilled these values in you, whoever raised you, this is who this is. They never gave up, they were very strong. Your trainer or your teacher or your mentor consistently instilled this level of strength in you to where it's like you never gave up until the job was done. What else is the four of wands? Yeah, two of swords. Anything that has not worked out, it was for a reason. If there are any breakups or divorces or you know, terminations, whatever this is that did not work out or any goals that you feel like you weren't able to accomplish. Like a divorce could definitely feel like a goal that you weren't able to accomplish, you know? Maybe you dropped out of school. 
or, you know, you weren't able to finish something or accomplish something, it doesn't even matter anymore because it's like whatever you gained in the time that you were in the situation, that was the point of the situation. It's like your spirit team is really trying to get you to see clearly that all of these things that have made you feel powerless or that have stressed you out, you know, or made you feel disrespected or unappreciated were all, it was all a training ground for you to learn what you needed to learn in order for you to assume this position, Queen of Swords. And that was coming out in the last re reading. So that you can see clearly what's not important, what's not worth your time. And you can give to what is worth your time and have more energy to give to what's important. Keep your priorities straight. Okay? If somebody's trying to disrupt anything, like I said, four of wands reverse is like the graduation thing. Like if you're getting crowned or you're going across the stage or maybe you're getting married or whatever. If somebody's just trying to break up something that's going well for you, it's like don't pay attention to it. It doesn't matter. Because everything that you've experienced up until now has taught you how and why you should be ignoring those distractions, okay? What else? Anything else? Yeah, the lovers. Oh, my gosh. The strength and the devil. Yeah, you have a lot. You're spirit. <laughs> I'm telling you, somebody's got a demon on them. Somebody's got an entity, uh, a nosy uh, entity on them is working through them and they've literally surrendered to it. They've surrendered to this entity and they've allowed it to take over their body and their functions and their thoughts and their mind and their emotions because that spirit wants to monitor you to prevent you from being able to achieve this goal. You have overcome negativity, bad choices. You've overcome, let me take a picture of this too. The lovers and the strength. Your courage has outlasted any type of bullshit, okay? When the devil tempts you, you've had enough restraint and self-control not to make bad choices. You've made good choices. That's what spirit is trying to tell you. I feel like you're being rewarded for the good choices that you've made, even when you could have done something really petty because I feel like you were in a very dark place and you could have taken matters into like whoever this person is who thinks that they're so smart and they just think that they're winning and they just think that they're, you know, gonna have, get, they got something in the bag and they just did, they're just doing everything right. And they're ruining whatever's going on for you. They really don't know that they could have lost their life several times. Like, if you would have really succumbed to this devil energy, they would have been six feet under, bitch. And I'm not even playing. If you really would have allowed your demons to come out and play, they would not have seen the light of day, okay? What's the lovers? Some of you may have even been holding back from, like, sex, intimacy with people, trying to uh, hold your power, like, to... I don't know, semen retention to keep your power within you because I feel like whoever this entity is that's been trying to get at you has been jumping around through people, trying to send people towards you that you could have sex with to basically like drain you of your power. That could have been what was going on. If there was any type of like STDs or I don't know what, I don't know what this is, but any type of illness or weakness or stress that was caused by Someone taking your power or draining you of your power is being healed. Your power is being restored. What's the lovers? Even if it was like vices, weed, smoking, uh, drinking, drugs, you've like had a lot of self-restraint and self-control and you're being rewarded for this. Three of swords now flipping into the reverse. Because you decided to heal instead of getting revenge. Somebody decided to get revenge instead of heal. Because it's easier to get revenge. It's easier to try to get, get back on people. It's easier to, you know, blame and 
that I think that card came up in the last reading. Like it's easier to do that than it is to step into your power and actually heal. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. You've been consistently healing. You've put some type of ritual in place that you do on a regular basis that helps you make good choices. I don't know what it is. The hermit. You also have a spiritual or ethereal guide that's literally walking with you. Somebody could be born in July, whoever this person is. The number seven is significant when it comes to this like spirit guide or this ancestor or this angel. It's like they're leading you. They're leading the way. They're guiding you. Because I remember in that, in that game, Life is Strange, the girl was being led by this doe or this deer. She kept seeing a deer. So maybe deers are significant either to your culture or to your visions. Somebody could have called you dear, like, yes, dear. Feels like a grandmother or a mother, great grandmother. Feels like a feminine energy. I mean, it could have been masculine too, though. Just take it how it resonates. Yeah, but there's a spirit that's guiding you. You did some type of ritual maybe to invoke this spirit. Maybe you have an offering that you give to this spirit or this ancestor. You made an offering. And that could have been you like sacrificing something of yourself. There was some type of ritual you did. So I'm not going to get too much in your business, but it's there. Okay. The lovers. One more card for the lovers. Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. <laughs> Whatever someone tried to do to force you to like harm yourself, like with this three of swords that we saw earlier with the eight of swords, whatever, this could even be a ritual that someone did on you to try to bind you. Um, they could have done something to destroy something of yours or I don't know what this is. Somebody did something funny. Okay. Um, or they sold their soul in some way, shape or form, either through their actions or deeds or whatever. But whatever this is, they're getting caught up in their own trap. Who, Whatever trickery and sneakiness and, you know, wordplay and games that were going on, someone's getting caught up in their own trap. Because someone tried to trick you into, like, taking yourself out, literally. Someone tried to trick you into sacrificing yourself, but you overcame that demon you beat that demon, your courage and your strength outlasted the power of that negative energy. And now the tables are turning. You're starting to heal and you're being brought together with your destiny and what's supposed to happen in your life in general. Five of Wands, High Priestess. Your intuition, you, you, knew, you knew that you were being trained. You knew that this was a test. And it was only a test. And that's all it was because it was just something was just so ridiculously unrealistic. Something was just such an illusion, like something was just so fake. It looked like 2D in a 3D world. And you like, really? You trying to give me this crap? And, and think I'm going to believe it? All right, that was real dumb. It's like you finessed your way out. You learned how to finesse your way out of any situation, but not in like, not in like a bad way though. It's like to combat evil, right? I feel like you finessed your way out of a situation with a demon or the devil or something. You, you were trapped by the devil and you freed yourself somehow. And you did it in a very charismatic, finessey type of way. I don't know how else to say it. You escaped the devil's clutches. That's crazy. Okay. I'm just letting you know. What else? for the collective when it comes to these messages. I feel like that's that's what had to be activated in your DNA. That that's that's what had to be activated in order for you to take this oath 
in order for you to be given this crown, in order for you to be able to be sworn in and actually assume the position that you were born to assume, you had to escape the devil's clutches and that's your reward. You could have fallen victim to it. You could have given up. You could have taken yourself out. You could have taken somebody else out. You There was a lot of things that you could have done instead of having the courage to command your power, okay? It's kind of like you had to command your power to come back to you. But you had to figure out how to do it. And there was a lot of ways that you could, there, there was a lot of ways that you were being finessed. There was a lot of ways that you could have just taken the easy way out, but you did not. And that's why you're receiving something now. That's why you are the one who is getting this opportunity now. And no matter how much someone tries to interrupt you or distract you or get in the way of what it is that you're doing, nothing can stop what's coming to you now, okay? What else for the collective when it comes to these messages, feelings? Don't forget to come and pick up your feelings while I'm up cleaning. You need to hurry and pick up your feelings. Don't leave no pieces. Put the lock on the door where my heart once was. Mm -hmm. Now you had your fun, and I'm really done, and there's something done. I deserve so much more than you gave to me, and now I'm saving me, and I'm in a peace, and you can run them streets. So don't forget to come and pick up your hood. Okay, period, bitch. Period. Period, bitch. Okay, feelings. Pick them up. Still very in love. Can't get over them. Trying to reconcile. They better pick up their feelings. Better pick them up. Get away. Take a break to get clear. Time apart is needed. Long distance love affair. So let me just say, people who you have uh, <laughs> distanced yourself from really can't get over it. Yeah, losing patience. So you might have people reaching out. Okay, just be aware. What else does the collective need to know? But you've healed from a situation. Mm -hmm. And these people were going nowhere fast. They're still going nowhere fast. Filing for divorce. Oh, somebody's still in their feelings about a divorce. Four of Wands reverse. Someone still refuses to see what God, spirit, source was trying to show them. Yeah. Leap of faith, trust your intuition, jump off the crazy train, make a new life. That's what you chose to do. You was tired of going around in circles with somebody who was basically, uh, I don't know, cocooning a demon. Like, you were tired of doing that, cheating, yep. Somebody who was unfaithful, who wasn't treating you right. And it doesn't even have to be cheating when it comes to fidelity. It could have just been cheating you out of what you deserve, meaning they weren't giving you the same effort and energy that you were giving them. Whether it's a marriage that dissolved and there's a divorce or whether it's a breakup just in general, whether it's a job that wasn't paying you what you deserve, you were being cheated. And you decided like, hey, listen, either I'm going to lay down and continue to take whatever this bullshit is or I'm going to stand up. <laughs> and I feel like y'all stood up, picked up your feelings and your shit and got the fuck on. What else for the collective? Because somebody thought, see, some, see, somebody thought that you couldn't go somewhere else and be successful. Somebody thought that you would never find another love. Somebody thought that you would never be in another relationship or nobody else would ever want you. Or they tried to make you feel that way. Somebody thought that you wouldn't be able to survive without them. All right. You about to show somebody. Okay. Because somebody's lost their damn mind. Rest in peace, buried emotions, let yourself move on, grieve and let go, period. Something has been laid to rest. Some There could be a divorce that's being finalized. Somebody's in their feelings about it. They may have been trying to hold up the process. Any type of legal documents or contracts that are being dissolved or that you've been trying to break free from, you're about to break free, Okay. Any delays that have been happening when it comes to like legal situations because of somebody's feelings, 
over facts, that's about to be done. Yeah, burning bridges because it's it's no going back. That's why they mad, heated, explosive temper, blowing off some steam, too hot to handle. Somebody is definitely, possibly it could be a fire sign with this fire and this heated energy. Someone is like angry. They're very much so secretly harboring resentment and anger towards you and sending you that evil eye energy. But it's okay because your divine guidance is teaching you and telling you how to navigate the situation where you felt like you couldn't get out of it before. That's why I said if somebody's trying to like that's why that car came out earlier with that Mars energy. If somebody's trying to provoke you, they're trying to pick at you. Like like if you were at a graduation and you had bullies at school and you walking across the stage and somebody while they're te calling your name and you're accepting your your diploma, somebody's saying, "You suck." In the audience, that's what it seems like. <laughs> but bitch, you still got your diploma though. I mean, you still got your diploma, though, right? You still accepting your diploma, bitch. And they probably are sitting in the audience talking about you suck because they didn't even graduate. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. That's why they really mad, because they burned a bridge with you. And, and they can no longer, like, whatever this spiritual contract is that you had with this person, they're in their feelings about it being dissolved because they did not hold up their end of the bargain. They tried to cheat you out of the contractual agreement. Like, I don't know what this is. This could literally be a legal situation where somebody's getting punished by the courts, but it could also be a situation where God, source, spirit, whoever you believe in, is punishing this person because they chose to use the situation or abuse the situation meaning you or the connection that they had with you the access that they had to you because their soul knows who you are just like your just like you can see their soul they can see your soul and it just started raining y'all it was thundering earlier now the rain is coming down so something is being cleansed yeah and I feel like God is punishing this person and it's not something that you should be happy about nor do I feel like you're happy about it's just it is what the fuck it is because somebody should not, whoever this person is knew better than to abuse their power with you, but they chose to do it anyway. And really they're kicking themselves because now that you're healing from a situation, you've overcome the demons, you're making better choices, you have been crowned, you're taking your throne, your seat on your throne, they can't sit next to you. <laughs> All right. Y'all be sure to like and subscribe so you can continue to catch this vibe, okay? Let's get some advice for the collective when it comes to these messages, spirit. Also, again, you guys, if you want to be entered into the raffle, the GoFundMe is linked below. August 8th, 2024, we're giving away eight free readings. The more you donate, the more chances you have to win. And if you want to book a reading... That option is available as well. Just click the links in the description box. If you want to see any of my other channels, I do love readings on the underground. It is linked below. I do Pisces readings on Pisces Network, which is also linked below. Oh, it's coming down too. I'm here in rainforest. Yeah, there could be rain coming down <clears throat> in a forest so that you can see clearly how to move forward. It's cleansing away debris so that you can see your path okay and this person is debris or whoever this is or whoever's mad however many of them it is all right what's the advice for the collective when it comes to these messages no Ooh, so somebody's getting a hard no your advice is that if something is a strong no then it's a no if it's not a hell yes it's a hell no unlikely yeah so something is not gonna happen abundance yeah Ooh, i don't think this is about you i feel like this is basically saying that it's very unlikely it's actually a uh, a guarantee okay which we talked about you're being made to remember your foundational blueprint that guarantees your survival uh this is a guarantee that a door is completely shut that something is a hell no and that there's no chance that a person is going to be able to, like, stop you on this path because you've officially chosen a new direction. So now you can assume your position and be crowned, take your oath, and do what it is that you need to do. 
And I feel like someone needs to accept this. And I feel like you're getting this advice because you need to know that this person can no longer like upset the balance of a situation. Okay. Cause no says the res the, the response to your inquiry is a firm. No, you needn't worry. Boom. We have worry. You needn't worry though, as you will see why this was the perfect answer as time goes by. Maybe you told somebody no. And like I said, it is what it is. And somebody need to come and pick up their goddamn feelings. Because there's literally nothing that they can do about it. Because it's already set in stone. This is the universe talking. Unlikely. And listen to your intuition is underneath unlikely. That's the advice we got on the last reading. So the situation you have asked about is unlikely to occur as you are imagining it. Remember at the beginning when I told you that someone just thinks that something is in the bag and they just think it's going to happen a certain way because they just know that all of their vindictive, petty behavior is just going to work out so well. It may have worked for a while, but it's not working anymore. Something is being cleansed away or washed away or cycled out, okay? And whatever you feel in terms of like something that you're powerless or you feel powerless in, it's not going to happen in a negative way the way you think it is. I feel like the positive outcome is going to happen because whoever's trying to come against you wants a negative outcome that you believed to be true because you felt like you didn't have any power to change it, but it's actually not going to happen that way. Okay. So again, the situation you have asked about is unlikely to occur as you are imagining it. There may be a different version of events that will take place, or it may be that what you've asked about is simply not in your highest or greatest good. Place your focus on an alternative possibility. Open your eyes to a different opportunity. Be willing to experience a unique and more uplifting outcome than what you had planned for yourself or what you planned for the situation. And I feel like that is this abundance. So I hope that helped you guys. As always, I really want the readings to open your eyes to situations and help you see clearly what you need to do. So I hope that this reading did that as well. Share it with someone who you think may need to hear it. Donate if you want to be entered into the raffle. Book a reading if you want to get a personal. I cannot wait to see you guys there. Leave a comment below. Let me know if it resonated. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.